Just tell yourself, just tell yourself, even though you remember the oath, accidentally end up on a date.
Spooky West Virginia tune. It was swing tune. What do you say? I'm, I'm out. You know I love coming to Athens and having breakfast. Is there a good place to get breakfast in town? Right here. Just stay here all night to breakfast. The place of his fat quickly approaching. What do you think spending dick me to do? You left a waffle toast in my mouth. Cheese, I'ma let you go. I never saw such missing misery. Ah, oh, you're breaking my heart. Cheese, I'ma let you go, honey. You biscuit out of town. One, two, one. Carolina today. Beautiful drive. We're glad to be with you. 
Dying down through the hills. Yeah, I mean, Seems right. I'm feeling good. You may have noticed a lot of songs about murder, gambling, drinking, trucks, kicking, drugs, backstabbing, front stabbing, all kinds of stabbing. And you're right. Make stuff makes for some good tunes. We're gonna take one second, flip the coin completely over. And do a song that's all about love. Muffins and Millie! Muffins and Millie! Grab your partner, slow dance everybody. Grab someone else's partner. Oh! 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 Oh!
<laughs> no, we didn't. We didn't catch it. But we did get the song, which is the Mean Old Bed Bug Blues by Bessie Smith. <laughs>
and rain, there ain't no some blue. A misery steals a kitten from the zoo. With a kitten in this cold, can't see in the cold. Now about a little kitten who cries. You're afraid of the blue eyes Just for a while Close Here could have been blue eyes Now Shining her gold too With a crystal ball in the eye Would you like something this You shout to the way you trip But sit down dear it may take a while Close Your pretty blue eyes Just for a while Close Your pretty blue eyes in Amesville and um, went down there, came back with $5, I barely made it back for gas, but I remember an old hobo asked me before we left, he said, you seen the alligators in the street? And it took us four days to realize that we wasn't talking about alligators, he was talking about, you know, clams, frog skins, cashola, moolah. Money. So here's a song, and I'm writing it on up on Tim's uh, couch. All about cow alligators and down the road next spring. I hope it makes money. Make some land skins. <laughs>
We didn't even have enough money to pay next month's rent. So we loaded everything we owned in, up into this 1978 mint green Dodge conversion van. Gertrude. Ah, Gertrude. Hats off to Gertrude, everybody. Hats on. We woke up in the crack of noon to turn her over and she was <laughs> dead. Luckily, uh, Adam's uncle was a shade tree mechanic, still is, I believe, out there in Lancaster, Ohio. Well, we called him up, and we'll never forget this guy showed up. 300 pound dude showed up in his tidy whities, and that's it, and a spray can, and a wrench. And he climbed underneath, and he gave it a tsh, and he got the thing started, and hot wired the thing. But he warned us, he said, Boys, if you turn the engine off, you'll never get it started again. We had that van running for five and a half days all the way down to Austin, Texas. And the sad part of the story is, indeed, we did not make it to Austin. We broke down in a little suburb called Richland, Texas. And if you ever get stuck in Richland, keep your money in your boots. Number four. Number four. It is a tough, tough town. This is the rich land of woman blue. Hey, Mr. 
feel my hair turn And then I shout a good boo To her home, baby Is that a blue eyed boy? Here you come too late now Here that a will be gone A red rooster said This next song gives everyone a chance to rehearse alive and in person in front of everybody your own personal owl calls. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Also, by the way, ask the musical question, who's been talking?
Number four, number 13, number 20, Kuza, Kuza, number four, number 13, number 20. This is cold, folks. Good cheese, Kate. We've been doing a lot of traveling, 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 traveling. Sort of like traveling, traveling and driving at the same time. <laughs> drive out to Colorado. Anybody drive out to Colorado lately? Yeah. See you after the show. We'll see you on the set. <laughs> We drove out. There's no way of getting around Colorado without discovering the great state of Kansas. And when you're sitting in Kansas City, you put Denver, Colorado in your GPS, dial it up. And it says next turn, 843 miles. Four hours in, there's one exit. The only thing on this exit is an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet in Kansas. The other half is starting to get beautiful. The trains, the, the trains are blowing and the, the winds crashing. We started counting these cars on these big, long, five-mile long freight trains that look like dragons across the horizon. We noticed on the back there was a hobo swinging on the ladder. We waved at our van and we got we waved back. We made notes for him on cardboard, our empty, empty uh, Miller Light boxes. They're doing the van. You got another guy. We noticed it wasn't just one hobo, it was actually two hobos. The other hobo stood up and she uh, she was wearing one of those fruit store wedding gowns with the wine stains down the front. Sadness and despair are weakening. Turning yellow from the diesel smoke of the freight train. Anyway, this is the ballad of the hobo and his bride. Uh-huh. 
hundred miles an hour. Get her rest, 
her it's gas, she's leaving down a big old fancy house. The poor girl, she's going to say. My girl, she goes down a whole set penitentiary plan, she's getting her ass insane. But I see you in the morning, and if I live, if I live, I see you in the morning, but don't get killed.